Schwab's house. And we are at Schwab's. So we're trying to get the Corolla at least started and able to idle. Uh, the reason it's been taking so long, it's had old gas in it from previous owner and I've just been lazy getting it out and now since the weather's not somewhat shit and uh, I've owned it for almost a year, I think it's time to take the gas out, which I did. I pumped it all out, fucking sat there for an hour, filled like two gas trucks up, put one gallon of premium gasoline in her. And that's it. A little sickle big boy sticker. Oh, nice. Right uh, under the Moon Eyes sticker. Uh, moon Eyes, man. You can't, can't top Moon Eyes, man. Yeah, Schwab's got all the Moon Eyes stuff. It's got the Moon Eyes fuel gauge. It's like, oh, yeah, just Lord knows what those gauges are. And then he's got the sick tack, too. Like, he's got all the stuff. I got the foot pedal. He's got the foot pedal, which we showed in a video a long time ago. Yeah. But if you guys didn't watch that, watch that. Okay, hold up, stop. Yeah, so it's holding 62 psi and then when you start it it goes down to like 45 But one of the issues with the stock beams ECU is it really wants to have 62 psi of fuel pressure exactly and uh, So you have to run a, 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 Like an external regulator. I'm not the beam the beams man, so I don't totally know what I'm doing here Yeah, she get this fuel pressure adjusted all right, so it's a new day. Yeah, it's been like two weeks since the last video you saw or whatever. Uh, and quite a bit's happened since then. And she run, but not good. It like the fuel pressure goes wow, 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 and it can't stay idling. Because of that, we went and checked my fuel pump, and we dropped my tank, and we found out my fuel pump's good. It's a wall bro. It pushes enough. It does all the right things, but when we were taken out, one of the little butt connectors the previous owner used came undone, and then I fixed it yesterday, and we put my tank back in, and my fuel pump doesn't work. So that means there's no connection there, because I fucked up. So we're going to take all that apart again after putting it back together this morning, and then we're going to solder all those wires so we don't have to deal with them anymore, button all this stuff up, put it in there. There's a lot. This car needs work and we're gonna do it. Jonas is soldering my broken, broken ass wire right now. Making that, making that boy connect. Send them positives where they need to go. It's taking my fuel pump out and I dropped these, these two suckers in there. So I had to fish them out for like 10 minutes. I had to like pump half my gas out and uh, my two jugs that are full of gas. But that means it's going to be lighter to put in. So we're putting this sucker back in. I uh, just got my sucker bag and my rubber grommy that fell off in my tank. Back on my fuel tank. Yeah, my fuel, fuel tank. tank. <laughs> and uh, I made sure it, it was on all the way this time instead of it not being all the on all the way and falling off. Carefully shove this in here. Carefully and shove don't usually go together in the same sentence. <sighs> it does when you're having sex. <laughs> You can barely see Jonas trying to get the, these screws on to hold my fuel pump onto my tank. And this is like the hardest part about getting my tank in. Because the lines are too short and they're too old so you can't get them off because they're crust welded on. And uh, yeah, so you have to hold the fuel tank at a perfect height where it'll sit flush and then you gotta reach in there. Screw those suckers in and pray to God you got the gasket in the right position and it's threading in and then you make threads in the thing and your thing's on and you're happy. The idea is to struggle as much as possible. It's 
struggle so much that you don't even like the vehicle you own. No, I still like it. You're just not there yet. Hey! Build the helicopter. Alright, well, Jonas is still struggling with that. I'm gonna take my wheels off since they're slightly off the ground. And I think that's enough. Uh, so I can hook these babies that Jonas nicely gave me off the 240 shell that you guys see built today. If you guys remember when it got rolled off the trailer, it had these junkers on it. And I thought they were kind of cool. Kind of look like Hot Wheels wheels that come on the Hot Wheels. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to see what they look like. And then after we get the fuel tank in, we can try and jack up the front and uh, put the other side on so we can see what it looks like on one side. Ah, fuel pump's in the tank now. Hell yeah. let's. That's a Put real that pain. Hey, at least it's not held together with wood screws. Yeah, having a car from the 90s is like, mm, and having mm. a car from the 80s is like, ah! Start jacking, boy. Hey. Bye -bye. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, jack it. I will jack it. Oh, the, the Nissan, the, ah, fuck the Corolla dust. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. You're too used to working on my son. Yeah, because that's pretty much all we've had it since you've had a BMW. Yeah. I had a BMW, and then I saw them Nissans. I said, God damn, I like me some turbos. So I got me a skill on. Made my friend really jealous because he wanted to get one before anyone else. But, oh, no, dude, I wanted to get a Skyline before anyone else. Dude, I wanted to get a Skyline before you even like Japanese cars. Bolt nut, the tool thing. Oh, hell yeah, I love a good bolt nut. <sighs> Man, I'm going to be honest with you. I really like this whole filming and not working on car thing. Yeah, dude, it's pretty nice, isn't it? It's really great not working on cars. That's science. It's erosion, it's corrosion. The car's gonna turn into dirt one day. I'm gonna enter at parks so fucking backwards. My car is just gonna like turn to dirt and then I'm just gonna be holding my steering wheel and my seat's gonna skid across the fucking track. <laughs> That'll be a good video. Kids Corolla turns to dust after being too crusty. All right, so Schwab got his fuel pump all finished up. He got the tank in. And I decided to park my car right next to the fence. So I'd make it as hard as possible to get fuel in. Is she drinking, boy? Drink up, puppy. Now we wait. So that's empty. Then we fill it up again with the bigger one, because the bigger one won't fit in between the fence. Yeah. And then so we do that for 10 minutes. Look at all that leverage. <coughs> <coughs> I got coronavirus. You got Corolla virus. You got Corolla virus. I'm addicted. Schwab's, Schwab's got Corolla virus. All right, so Jonas is filling the one gallon one up again. I got my wheel off. Holy crap. This peacock's going crazy, man. I got a wild turkey. Oh! Yeah, there you go. He knew it was up. Yeah, that's a peacock. Simmer down. We'll get back to you guys when my car can start. And we'll start it and then we'll jack it up and slap these wheels on it. See what it looks like in the back because I'm too lazy to jack up the front like I said I was going to do earlier. Because I got dinner to eat. I, it's, what is it? Leprechaun day or whatever? It's leprechaun day? I think so. I got corned beef to eat. It's Lee Ferrickson's day. Yeah, I got to eat that corned beef, bro. So we got impatient. We got the second gallon or third going in. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Ah. She needs some gas. I 
off the gas. Do it again. Yes, stop. You have like no fuel pressure. This is crazy. There's not like there's not enough pressure in the line. Like you have to wait for it to build. Leave it on for like a minute. Huh. For it to build pressure? Yeah. Alright, get a little bit of an idea what this puppy look like. What do you want me to lower it? Yeah. That'd be sick. You can just slam it. Because it's there you just either yeah. That's what you get. Sorry. I no. Tried to make it go down slow. No, there, and, uh, there is no slow. Yeah, it's that's what like I was. Your jack kind of has an on and an off. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> How's it look? Dude, it's sick. I mean, the car's on stands. So yeah. It doesn't. It's have, still that's not dope. like. Yeah, but it looks dope. That's freaking sick. That'd like cool. my car, it's not gonna look bad with those on. I thought it looked kind of trashy. Put a little more spacer on it and get some little tires for it. And I look killer. Yeah, one day. Hell yeah. Hopefully this summer. Hopefully. Yeah. You guys, yeah, I'm setting the early in the video. I don't have my license or anything. But soon I'm gonna try and get my permit done so I have that out of the way. So then I can start cruising. And then hopefully maybe sometime this summer I might get my license. But that's what I say every summer. Since 16. Man, fuck my life. Shit. Look at that wheel, that's a, a hot wheel, man. Hot wheel, bro. Back where I started. I think we need to get the alternator hooked up, get your battery charged. Hell yeah, that's and next then we'll on be the able to Mess with the idle and stuff, but it it like ran and didn't miss fire. Yeah. It. Yeah, you yeah, you I guys just heard hope it, I hope it was filmed. I think it was. Yeah, I think we're worth filming. As you guys are just talking shit in the comments, tired you were filming. You didn't film it. You didn't film it. Uh, Guess what, you're never gonna see my car run. Yeah, or my car. Yeah, they Or just, Sam Scrunch's car. They're gonna turn the dirt. Nobody gets to see anyone's car run. Yeah, it's gonna leave them on the woods. We don't drive, we just... Yeah, we just build our cars build and then cars. we ditch them in the woods. Yeah, we're cool as heck. Even got a rat, overgrown sewer rat. Yeah, you tell them. Tell them, Jay. Yeah, like and subscribe and comment. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Yeah. The rubber grommy fell off my fuel tank. Uh, I made sure it, it was on all the way this time instead of it not being on all the way and falling off.